Hello, hello. I've arrived. Yes. Doing on my own things. Got alert. All right. Yes. Thank you for dropping by. Alt. Good to see you as always. So yes. So today, Dark Nights. It continues. So yes. Uh, I apologize for the delay. I sort of uh. When Thanksgiving came around, I sort of shifted into vacation mode and uh, was unable to shift out uh, as quickly as I might like. So yes, I guess that wasn't so long ago. I've had longer unplanned uh, vacations, I suppose we could call them. But, uh, but yeah, I do still need to upload that VOD. I've forgotten to do that. <laughs> but yes, so today... We're expecting, most likely, a somewhat shorter stream than usual. Yeah. I'm currently aiming for about an hour, because I have uh, other responsibilities that I have to tend to. Plus, I'm feeling a little bit tired today, to be honest. But yes. So, let's see. Is there anything else to report on? Um, not that I can think of. Yeah, nothing, nothing else that... Uh, I have any concrete information to report on, at least. But yes. So. So yes. Arknights. But yes, tonight we're playing Arknights. We can, or today we're playing Arknights, even. It's not night yet. But yes, today we're playing Arknights. And I think we'll probably be playing Arknights at around the same time next week. So yes. So, let's see, this, yes. <laughs> Pardon. Trying to do the math in my head. So yes. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit earlier next time, but I think 3 o'clock is probably a pretty reasonable time for me to shoot for vis-a-vis uh, -vis starting the stream. I'd initially been planning to start it at uh, 2, but that didn't work out, clearly. So yeah, that's something that can work on some Saturdays, but it wouldn't be appropriate for every Saturday. Yeah, specifically Saturdays when I work, it wouldn't be a whole lot of time for me to get back from work and then get ready for the stream and all that. It'd be an uncomfortably short amount of time anyway. So yes, that should be pretty much all of that. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I suppose I should also mention that yeah, there was no collab this week. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the plans are for that going forward, but I will let you know when I know. And yeah, that should be everything that needs to be covered. So yeah, I talked about today's stream, I talked about the collab, I talked about the hiatus, talked about next week. But yes. So, the only thing I know for with any real degree of confidence is that next Saturday I should be available to do another Arc Night stream at about this time. Hopefully a little bit earlier. And so yeah, so I've been messing with some settings also. I've been messing with some settings also, so my model's a little bit, a little, slightly off. Slightly off, mostly in the eyes. It's been very difficult to get them to, like, work in a way that I am uh, okay with. And uh, thus, thus far, I have not done so. Despite my best efforts. But... I will continue to attempt to do so, and eventually someday we'll, we might just have some settings that I that I am pleased with. But these will do for now, because I don't want to delay any further. But yes. So... Okay, that should be basically everything now. Well, actually, no. <laughs> I'm also going to be messing around with some other behind-the-scenes stuff, so hopefully that will be done by the next time I, I start stream. Okay, now, now we've covered all of the business that I can think to cover. So, video games. No particular preamble, nothing in particular else to say. We're just going to get back into it. Arknights. Yeah. It's, it's exciting to be in this realm of Arknights that I have not seen with my own two eyes yet. Sick. Yeah, I don't remember if the if we've started this mission on our last time. I don't think so. I think we just did 3-1. And I feel like... Did I... No. I have the feeling that I, like, skipped the story for 
the post 3-1 uh, mission for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. I think that's something that I did at one point, but I don't think it was something I did last time. I think, yeah, after, after stream I'll check, and then when I upload the VOD for this stream, <laughs> assuming that I do it, but yes, when I upload the VOD for this stream, I will, if I missed out on that cutscene, then I will just start, uh, I will insert it and all that. So yes, anyway. Let's see, I'm trying to think, did we... I know that the team's a little bit different, but I can't remember if I made these changes before or, or rather during or between streams. Hmm, I think, I think any change I made, I made on stream. I wouldn't have, I don't think I would have made any changes off stream. Uncertain about everything today. It's about time you showed up, Hoshiguma. Uh, apologies, we were delayed for a long time. Any injuries? No. However, we were shocked by how strong that infected was. The Special Ops Division had already committed a lot of the members to reinforcing Lung Men's defense. I had to take the rest of the available members with me. Was your entire squad really held up by a single enemy? I didn't believe it either, until I saw, it with, saw, her, saw her with my own eyes. That person really was that strong. On top of that, she seemed a bit, uh, absent-minded? Uh, anyway, uh, about these people standing next to you? Are they Rhodes Island? Adam Chen, is she? Oshiguma, an elite, an elite from the Special Operations Division. So, you're the Rhodes Island I've been hearing so much about? Hmm, such a young kid. Are you also with Rhodes Island? She's their leader. Um, Madam Chen? Whoa. Uh, anyway, uh, let's cut the small talk. Any ideas about what we do now? Two of our special agents have located the kidnapper's location. They're tracking reunion as we speak and can provide us with directions. Not bad. Jen, I can see why they've earned your praise. These people take their work seriously. Madam Chen raised us? Oshiguma, gather all our squads. It's time to move out. Lead the way, Rhodes Island. Understood. As expected, Union left behind some scattered forces. They'll be lying in ambush on our route. Not a problem. Yes, as long as we move cautiously, we'll be able to take the initiative against them. Alright. Let me see how well you fight, Rhodes Island. Let us see how well we fight. Let's see, this should be... Oh no, okay, no, this is not a variation of the previous map. I don't know why I thought it was. Let's see, we can't cover both spaces with one operator. So, I suppose we'll just cover the one that's most, uh, most immediately exposed. Or at least most immediately in need of reinforcement. What do we want to place next? Hmm... Aiming up or this way would probably be better in the long term because that will give us... Yeah, this will... Most likely I'll be placing units in these general areas. So being able to damage them while they're stopped is pretty, pretty desirable. Alright, we're going to have another unit. Hmm, though actually... Yeah, if we don't place someone directly in front of there, an enemy could come from the other side, which would be less than ideal. Commence tracking. Your words are my pay. Uh, do we want to do the rest of this? I think we'll want to place... Or, yeah, it definitely looks like we're going to want to place a, an AoE sniper. If we're going to be getting a lot of slugs going this way. Yeah, so that is one of the enemies that can't be... Yeah, those ones with the little shadowy, hazy aura around them are ones that can't be... Can't be attacked unless they're blocked, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yes, I was thinking... I was wondering if it might be the other way around. Alright, we're gonna need a little bit more... 
Let's see, we can place... I don't know that we necessarily want to, but we can place Roberta down here. Roberta. Bring your face closer this way, okay? Thanks. I'll pay attention to how much force I use. Don't get yourself killed, dummy! Alright, we're not doing... awful. Orders? Here I am! Take that! Hmm. Whatever you say. Come on, get I'd appreciate together. it if you could activate your skill. Thank you. Hmm. I don't... Let's see. I hope that Saria can heal herself. I'm not entirely sure that she can, now that I think about it. And... How do we... Roberta is doing okay. Roberta's doing okay, and we don't have a whole lot of enemies here. So we might be able to get away with... Well, I was going to say we might be able to get away with placing an end a uh, unit down on this square. It might be... No, it's not visible if I mouse over it on the uh, game screen. But yes, the space directly south of Vanilla here. I was thinking of placing a unit there, but if they were to get attacked by a ranged unit, they wouldn't be able to get healed. We are doing pretty okay. Yes, and I suppose we do have the modelers to reduce damage incoming, so it could be a non-issue, essentially. We'll place Amia here to provide a little bit more support. Yes, it does seem as though Saria is healing herself, so it seems that she is not a healing guard or a healing defender who can heal herself. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. Doesn't seem... well, I was gonna say, it doesn't seem like we're getting a lot of units that uh, can deal ranged attacks coming to the uh, eastern exit. Yeah. Now we should be good to deploy uh deploy someone else here. Yes, I do like the I do like the damage on quartz. I can definitely get behind that. Alright. Nice work. Man, those guys were weak. I regret not giving him a few whacks with the staff here. You know, I've never used Gabriel since getting her English voice, or since she got her English voice. <laughs> I definitely, uh, I can appreciate the encouragement. But yes. I think I could probably... I could probably play this a little bit, uh, a little bit better, such that I could, uh cover everyone that needs to be healed. Yeah, I could probably place Gaviol like that, though. Hmm, that wouldn't cover quite as well as I would like. I don't think we got any enemies coming around the side here. So I might not need to worry about covering that, though. Hmm, now that I think about it, there's not really any way I can take advantage of that that I can think of. I don't know. The, it worked. Like, the, the strategy worked one way or the other, so maybe I'm just overthinking things. Uh, I should probably... I Now I've underthought things, because now I need to place down a unit to uh, block these slugs. Though actually, uh, it looks like Amiya can handle them. Oh no, they're, yeah, enemies will come around the other side also. The other side of Doberman given the opportunity. So let's friend. not give them the opportunity. Your words are my Is it just for show? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Who could be a Hang good... There, yeah, I don't know. I kind of would prefer Doberman to be elsewhere. Hmm. Right, right, right. I need to Ooh, deploy Roberta before anything there. gets out of hand. You know. Because, hmm. yeah, now that I know that Saria can't heal herself, I don't want to place her outside of the medic's range. But again, 
we've already established that she can just, like, you know, she doesn't need to be healed, basically. She didn't need to be healed that entire mission, so. Again, I'm probably overthinking it. So, that being said, we'll place Chen here and we'll replace, uh, we'll replace Doberman, I think. I don't know. I don't know why, but I just wanted to place Saria. I just felt like it, I suppose. Your words are my and I think we might as no. Actually, hold on. Right. I was gonna say we might as well switch to courts, but we're not yet at a point where we reasonably can. Though what we could do is we could place Midnight and make use of his increased range. I suppose it doesn't really matter which way I face him. He'll cover the same amount of squares either way. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. I should probably make use of catapult skills to some degree. Blocking, defense, eh. Hmm. Oh, right, right. I'm realizing that uh, Saria, actually, placing Saria there was also not a great choice. Because, uh... Yeah, the way that Saria's healing skill works is that, let's see, it should be, yeah, restores the HP of a nearby ally with less than 50% HP by 110% of the operator's uh, attack in the next attack. And uh, Saria is not attacking, so. So Chen's in a little bit of a bother here, but uh, we can always deal with that. To some extent, anyway. Chen is also pretty tough, so she's not a huge she's not hugely in danger. No, yeah, at this point we definitely don't have any more ranged units to have to worry about. So let's just place two quartz. Very good. Alright. And that's the mission dealt with. Sip. So, you must be Misha? Hello? Hmm? I've heard a lot about you from Skull Shatterer. Now I finally get to meet you. Are you also infected? Yes, I am. Why did you join Reunion? Why? My wife, my child, they were all killed by the Chernobogians. Under Ursus, the infected were treated worse than livestock. The destruction of Chernobog? No. No. That is far too light of a punishment. You know how much blood is on their hands. Misha, we've been feared, exploited, humiliated, and persecuted. Just because of the fact that we're infected. Not for any other reason. Sorry, I got a bit heated. Uh, forget what I said. Ivan, come help tend to the injured. Coming. We're only using this abandoned mine as a temporary base until we can reorganize and regroup. Once the time is right, we'll make our way back to Chernobog. Uh, Al? N no. I threw away that name long ago. Why? That person already died. Just call me Skull Shatterer. Are you... afraid? Skull? Chatterer? Why? Ah, uh, you'll soon understand. After we learned that you ended up as a refugee in Lung Men, everyone volunteered to go rescue you. We've also accepted many new members here. But... you're hurting people. I don't want to do that. Why are the infected fighting each other? An eye for an eye, as things should be. There's a saying in Ursus, Welcome your kin as you would welcome the warm spring. But welcome your enemies. What, what's wrong? Do you know? No. No, you don't. When they came for me, they dragged me out of my house. What, what's wrong? I saw my mother. She grabbed my hand. You saw it, too. No. You must have. 
They beat her mercilessly, but she wouldn't let go of me. She left a trail of blood in the snow as they dragged her away. If Reunion had. If the infected could have. If only... If they came sooner, none of this would have happened. We would not have had to suffer so much. I... I wasn't brave enough to. I... Uh... <laughs> Misha, it'll be fine. It'll all be fine in the end. I don't blame you. Back then, who would have been brave enough? But now, Reunion has given me that bravery. Oh. Well, skull Shatterer. Whether or not you trust us is up to you. Even if you trust us, whether or not you join us is also up to you. But you are infected. Reunion... We'll definitely fight until the bitter end so the infected can finally be free. But you destroyed Chernabog, along with countless innocents. Innocents? <laughs> Who's innocent? When Chernabog implemented the quarantine, did any of them speak out against it? When Ursa sent us to die in the mines and the frozen wastelands, did any of them do anything about it? Did any of them ever stand up for us? Don't know. Reunion has two leaders who fought for Ursus for a long time. They said that there were some in Ursus who stood against the government for the sake of the infected. But they weren't in Chernabog. Chernabog coldly turned a blind eye towards us as we died. No, they laughed as they watched us die. Hmm. Chernabog deserved to be destroyed. I met other people who were helping the infected. They... Rhodes Island. Despite being infected, they helped lung men and harmed us, didn't they? They slew our comrades and decimated our brethren, didn't they? N no. You couldn't see the truth, but it should be clear to you now. Sorry. I let my anger take over. It's fine. I... I understand how you feel. You must have been suffering so much, all this time. Everyone has been through a lot, but right now, at least, we have hope. Tallulah, she is the one who took charge of the infected and led the fight against the cruelty of this world. Reunion is the only hope we have. I see. You've all suffered so much. If Ryun can really protect them all. Of course. Just like how Reunion will protect everyone, I will protect you. I won't let anyone hurt you anymore. Skull Shatterer. Ooh, I found them. <laughs> Looks like they sustained some pretty serious losses. Luckily, I didn't head back to the company headquarters. Otherwise, I would have needed to make a long detour for this mission. Try to predict their escape routes. Send all likely routes along with their bearings to Amia. I'll be done in a sec. Hmm. We can't give Reunion time to regroup. Hmm, let's see, over here, like this, and that should do it. Are you done, Exusia? What do you need? How are we going to do this? Let's have a little warm-up first. Start with their sentries. All must return to the existing order. None may disobey the rules. Understood. All right. Challenge mode. So yes, it would seem that Skull Shatterer and uh, and Misha are previously uh, previously uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Acquainted. There we go. Enemies equipped with a detector can disable the effect of bushes. Be aware of the enemy leader who has the ability to disrupt our formation. Bush, op uh, bush, yeah, we already know what a bush is. Ah, it looks like we'll be facing Crown Slayer again, too. But yeah, I assume that that is the mentioned leader. And I, yeah. I would assume that by disrupt our formation, they mean Crown Slayer's ability to pass through, pass through our defenses. 
Yes, it looks like this map has some pits, and you know what pits mean. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I need to f probably... I should get like a hotkey for this, make it a little bit easier on myself. But yes, so pits mean, yeah, pits mean crown slayer or crown slayer. No, yes, actually, ideally we'll put her in a pit, but uh, crap, pit, yeah. <laughs> Pardon, pits mean shaw, or at least anyone who can push, but shaw is our most relevant unit in this case, I think. All right. We probably won't need a lot of push operators necessarily. Probably won't need more than one. We could use a pull operator too, I suppose. Maybe. Um, actually, would there... Hmm. No, not really. But yeah. It wouldn't be as convenient anyway. We could potentially pull someone in in some way. But they'd have to be, like, here-ish. And I don't think any of our pull operators have that far of a range on them. Well, I suppose we could place a pull operator here and potentially pull someone into the, into the pit thusly. But I feel like having a push operator is just going to be more convenient. It'll have the ability to affect more units, most likely. But yeah, we could probably make use of two. So you know what? Let's make use of two. Why not? The movie returns. And who do we want to swap out? I think we'll... Since we're not going to have quite so many units bunched up quite so much, I think we might switch out Saria. At least since we ideally won't have quite so many units bunched up quite so much. And we'll make use of our other... I think our only other push operator that is relevant at least. Uh, or that wouldn't require a lot of extra levels. Uh, that would be F Eater, who I believe we've seen before. All right, it's showtime. Yes, F Eater. Um, who else? Is there anyone else I would like to add to the squad? I think we, I think we're probably good for right now. Should probably promote Chen one of these days. Probably promote a lot of units one of these days, but. We'll see. We'll see when that happens. So yeah, anyway. Now, let's continue. <laughs> Curses! There are only two enemies. Get in here, in there already. What are you so scared of? We've already lost over 20 soldiers. Those two devils are no ordinary people. <laughs> Watch your right. Give me a hand. Keep pressuring her. I'll finish her off. I don't have time to deal with that guy rushing at me. You owe me a drink next time, all right? Sure. Now hurry it up. All right. Hey, Mr. Reunion guy? Huh? This bullet is my gift to you. Make sure to accept it with gratitude. Bullet? What the? Oh. <laughs> Took care of him for you. Thank you very much. You monster! Her, her sword. Hmm. This is this seems like a weird thing to say to someone that you're stabbing. Ah, I'm sorry. Usually, I prefer to use two. Ah. ah. Yeah, that was. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon the pause there. I. It just sort of seemed like such a weird thing to the uh, weird thing to say that I needed to double check that who was saying it and that I hadn't missed something. Uh, anyway, that's the rest of them. You were totally in sync back there. Guess so. Get back here. Uh, here comes their main force. Looks like we made a bit too much noise and drew their attention. Ah! Uh -huh. You! How can this be? What have you done? Uh, don't take this personally, but we're on a contract, you know? When you're in a logistics business, there's nothing more important than fulfilling your contracts. On your left. Huh? Uh, huh? Uh, 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 thanks. Please cover my right, then. Start running. We need to move. Eh. 
Exusii, we're currently approaching your position. Uh, we've drawn the full attention of the enemy. The rest is up to you. Stay safe, you two. Franca, have you arrived at the destination yet? All good here. Liskarm and the other defenders are already in position. Everyone, please be on your guard. The enemy snipers may be using the landscape to conceal themselves. Make sure to mind your own positioning and prioritize targeting the enemy snipers. Next, we'll prepare our assault. But don't overdo it. We can't put our target in danger. All right. Now, let us begin. All right, ladies. Let's keep it cool. Technical scout, an engineer that is capable of detecting allied invisible operators around them. Okay. Whoop. Oh, Crown Slayer is wasting no time. Okay, fair enough. Um, I suppose we'll place Vanilla here. Oh, right. They're in the bushes, so Vanilla can't see them. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. I will not bring shame to Blacksteel. <clears throat> hmm. All right, how do we want to swing this? Hmm. Let's see, we're going to have drones on this side, so that should be... We should ideally have someone to deal with that. Hmm. All right, this is going to be a little bit different from what I had expected. Hmm. I think... Do we want to place F Eater immediately? No I... Not really, <laughs> but I don't know that I have a whole lot of choice in the matter. You have arrived. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Alright. Um... So yeah, I think definitely this could have... I definitely could have planned this a little bit better. But, there we go. There we go. Alright, so that is one source of detection out of here. And, okay, we have missed the opportunity to push an enemy into the pit with our, our good friend Shaw. But we should have plenty of opportunities to use F Eater. So yeah, I did. Unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, so I wanted to use the manual skills on Shaw and... Oh, hold on. Oh! Yeah, I tried to use the skill on... Uh, I tried to use Shaw's skill on that opponent, but I didn't realize that they, it wasn't active. All right. fresh blood. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I wanted to use the manual push skills because I sort of expected the, uh... Hmm. All right, we definitely need to... Oh, this is bad, actually. This is quite bad. Hmm. Um, what do we do? Shaw isn't benefiting us in any real way so let's okay <laughs> okay i don't think uh i don't think we're gonna succeed at this to be honest but uh i'll do what i can i guess um yeah so we have failed we have failed one to blame well you did pretty good um okay so what we need to do is we need to deploy someone here so that we can stop the uh i guess we don't really need to get rid of the the fellow the individual the detector i don't remember what the enemy was called but uh we don't necessarily need to get rid of them all that desperately so it would be good to but i don't feel like it's really important we can live without it if we have to. But yeah, so I wanted to use the manual skills on Shaw and F Eater because I expected that I'd want to be able to trigger them manually. And it did work pretty well for Shaw, at least. It worked pretty well for Shaw. But, unfortunately, 
I just had a realization, but unrelated. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I just happened to place Shaw in a position where she just wasn't super useful. Because, yeah, the enemy... Yeah, it doesn't target uh, just a space. It's not an AoE effect that she... Pardon, that she had. It was an ability that targeted enemies specifically in that space. So yeah, so even though I tried to activate it, it wouldn't be... It couldn't push the enemy into the pit. And uh, yeah, since it just moved, you know, exited out of that interface when I selected the skill, even though the skill didn't do anything, I didn't notice that it hadn't done anything, which is definitely my bad. So yeah, so I was thrown off a little bit by the fact that Crown Slayer spawned immediately, but that really doesn't matter too much because she doesn't start moving for quite a while. Yeah, in theory, I could position her such that, um, I could position a unit such that it could attack Crown Slayer immediately, but I don't think that that's strictly necessary, because I would ideally like to push Crown Slayer into a pit. Once again. But yeah, anyway. So, it completely, I completely failed to take into account the fact that they were going to be, uh, ranged units, or they're, not ranged units, uh, drones. I noticed the, the spot there, and I even mentioned it, I think, or I mentioned at least the idea that I would want a sniper, but then I didn't deploy one. So, I think what we'll need is we'll need at least two relatively easy to deploy, quick to deploy units to cover those two spots where the engineers are. I think those were engineers, yeah? Technical scout. So they are engineers, but they aren't referred to, they aren't named as such. So yeah, so I we'll want someone to defeat the technical scouts. They don't necessarily need to, yeah, I guess, again, they don't necessarily both need to be dealt with immediately. Because yeah, I don't think the technical scouts have like a ranged attack or anything that would make them especially dangerous. They just make the other units more dangerous due to the others being able to attack. Um, this is... I don't think these... I don't think the monster drones can attack normally. Yeah, I think... I know that there is a drone that can attack, but I don't think the monster is it. So yeah, so F-Eater and um, Shaw are fine, though their positioning was not great. Um, I want to deploy crews at some point, or at least a sniper of some variety. Other than that, um, I think it was pretty good. Could have been better. And we did need to... Yeah, there was a need to deal with enemies at the top left. Because we got a lot of... Uh, or no, it wasn't the lurkers, was it? It was the yeah, invisible crossbowmen. So yeah, because they were able to... Uh, yeah, because they didn't need to, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Because they are invisible, they can't be attacked unless they are being blocked. So, I would need to, ideally, I think, deploy a unit up into this corner. And I'm realizing I've used my mouse cursor to point things out a lot, but the mouse cursor is pretty small. <laughs> so probably I should come up with a better way to do this. Um, anyway. But yeah. So I'll need to take care of, or I'll need to cover that corner, I think. Though I'm not entirely sure what I'll want to do about that. So yeah, I guess we'll get started on our second practice mission. So yes. All right, ladies. Let's keep it cool. Replace vanilla. And honestly, you might just be able to get away with using vanilla. Because yeah, these scouts are not, uh, they're not too terrible. Um why can't everyone try to get along? I think we'll place Telopsis a little bit earlier and have her cover things thusly. How do we, else do we want to do this? Um I guess a lot of my uh, a lot of my guards are kind of expensive, huh? All right, so now that enemy's dealt with. So, how much does that benefit us? 
Hmm. How do we want to do this? I think we'll place Shaw. It doesn't really matter if we use Shaw or F Eater. Um. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, we do have that crosswoman over there, who is going to be a little bit of a bother. All right, Shaw can start pushing. Very good. Hmm. All right. Need a little bit more healing if uh, our good friend Midnight is going to survive. Your orders. We don't have a whole lot of units who can really benefit from. Who can really benefit from Doberman's skill? Looks like. Looks like we might not even need to push. Uh, push Crown Slayer into a pit. I'll try to do so anyway because I'm uh, enjoy the idea. But. Um. Place Gabriel there. Use her skill and then. Oh. Okay. We've had an opponent get past us. That's unfortunate. Amia. A ranged unit isn't going to be as useful there, I don't think. I'll do... Hmm. Okay, no. We can we can cover. We can cover her. Though, if we're going to see more of those fellows, they have... They're pretty tough. Yeah, they're pretty tough. They do a lot of damage, so having a low... Uh, Low defense unit is less than ideal. Oh, and I... <laughs> right, I forgot to uh, force my hand. deal with this guy. So here's hoping. Uh, <laughs> ideally, I would have liked to... Okay, so those... Hmm. Time for business. hmm. So yeah, so catapult's not a great choice for this. Oh, it would seem that invisible enemies are even immune to, uh, even immune to, uh, oh, they're not immune to pushing, though, apparently, but, uh, they're even immune to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're immune to AoE effects. Hmm. Or they're immune to, uh, splash effects. Oh, shoot. Hurry up, doctor. We gotta move. So, yes. So... Not very good. Better, but not very good. Crown Slayer was defeated at some point. I didn't realize when. Um, but yeah, we got an enemy passed by our defenses. So yeah, it's interesting that the... Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So, let's think this over some more. I don't have a whole lot of time to think, so maybe we should think this over while we attempt again. Um... So yeah, having two push operators is probably not helpful here, I don't think. I don't, honestly, I don't know that having uh, one is useful to me right now, to be honest. <laughs> Considering we didn't make use of uh, Shaw at all. So I might want to switch her out for another guard. As for everyone else, let's think a little bit. So, the ability to deal with, well, I don't know, I think we need to... We need another Vanguard, at least. We need another Vanguard. Movie. Vanguard. Uh, we'll use Scavenger, since we're used to using her a little bit. Actually, no. Let's get another three-star Vanguard out there. So we can make use of Doberman's Wait, talent. So, yes. So, we'll need another Vanguard, because I want to deal with the other engineer, scout, technician, individual uh, a little bit faster. Yes, after that, yeah, we're not going to have the ability to deal with enemies. Yeah, I don't know. I think I need to have a better understanding of the way that the enemies are moving and which enemies are going where. That said, I think this should be pretty okay. Though, having another range unit would probably be ideal. Or at least another uh, another sniper. So I can have a little bit more range specifically. Listen, everyone. Stay calm. So yes. We'll place Fang. And she will hopefully deal with this scout. It shouldn't be too big of a hassle for her. 
Understood. Yeah, I don't imagine that these scouts necessarily have uh what's the word I'm looking for? Range attacks. Considering that they don't seem to even have melee attacks, other than just or rather they don't have melee weapons. Um so yeah, so these enemies are going to go up and around and over and into the exit over on the bottom right side. And we don't want that. Commence tracking. This halberd isn't just for show. So yeah, so Vanilla didn't do great there, but she did she did survive. What's her defense like actually? 204 versus 284 or 283. So it's interesting that she took so much more damage than uh, Fang did. Sip. <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting that she took so much more damage. We'll place Shaw there. That might not have... Uh, okay, this is fine. Uh, take you out. Place... Uh, is this a grit? No, 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 no. I don't know what I'm thinking. We're going to want to place a uh, cruise here. Mm -hmm, I'm listening. Mm, we're going to get an enemy. Nope. Okay. I thought our defense was going to break there, but we're good. Um, how else do we want to do this? Do oh, we don't have a defender anymore, do we? Now that I think about it. That's less than ideal, but it's manageable. Take them out fast. Um, place you thus. Um, I feel like Midnight's probably not the best choice here either, but oh well. I kind of forgot about uh, putting a defender back on our team, unfortunately. Hmm. We probably don't need Fang anymore, so we can swap her out for someone else. Though, so, yeah, we don't have a lot of great choices. We'll put down Quartz, though actually, now I might just... Oh, no. Hmm. I was going to say, I might have just lost the opportunity to push Crown Slayer, but uh, yes, it would seem that we have. Um, Crown Slayer is quite strong, isn't she? To be expected of a reunion leader, I suppose. So yes, um, Cruz, it seems, doesn't quite have the... Hmm, okay. So I can't target these drones, but if they are in the area of, uh, if they are in the area of Shaw's ability when, when she uses it, it seems that they still get affected. Though, of course, nothing is going to be now because of where Quartz is, but, uh, oh well. Uh, swap you out. I didn't realize that I didn't have a medic on this side, which explains why, uh, oh dear. Yeah, I didn't realize I didn't have a medic, which explains why I, uh, <laughs> all of my units there died, but oh well. Alright. So yeah, so Shaw is there, but, uh, not contributing. Um... Hmm. Fresh blood. Uh, this is all fine. Don't force my hands. Midnight can deal with the drones, I suppose. Hang in there, I'm having another, another, uh... Yeah, having another sniper who can deal with drones maybe would have been good, but yeah. at least we lived. <laughs> so yeah, I expected the left side to have more problems, but uh, it would seem that the bulk of our issues were on the right, there, actually. But yeah. So again, we just place units in such a way that we didn't really have the ability to use that Shaw's okay, ability dummy. to get rid of enemies faster. One thing... I maybe could have used a slow operator to allow... Uh, never taken emergency response training courses. uh, it would seem that I haven't, no. But yes. I think... How do we want to swing this? Midnight was doing good, but we could maybe make up for the lack of Midnight by swapping someone else out. 
So I think I think I'm gonna swap catapult out actually. Swap catapult out for a slower. Earth Spirit is, I think, no, actually, no. We've got another one who's three star. So let's use uh, Orchid. My mission to the best of my ability. Oh, and that reminds me. Right. Orchid got a new skin with the uh, recently. So we'll get to see her new Fu outfit. Very nice. But yes, Orchid. I'll complete my mission to the best of my ability. But yeah, I think I will place Orchid on the right side so that we have more opportunity for Shaw to use her skill. Though with Shaw, I don't know. I, f I wanted to use the manually activated skill on Shaw, but I don't... I don't know. I'm missing the timing too much. And uh, with the recharge time, I don't think it's worth it for the extra pushing. It doesn't really do that much extra, it seems like. I think we'll go with her first skill. And as for everyone else, I don't think there's really any other choices to be made. So, let us resume. Let's attempt this properly. Direct memory access for application map. An enemy coordinates authorized. Yeah, again, very, very interesting how much more damage, uh... Whoops, not you. Yeah, how much more damage uh, Vanilla took. Though I suppose it is uh, to be expected to a certain extent. Because, yeah, the... I believe I've mentioned it before, but defense is like a... Uh, it is a direct... What's the word I'm looking for? It's subtractive. Defense is subtractive. The amount of uh, HP you... Uh... Hold on, how am I trying to... What, what am I trying to say? But yes, the amount of uh, damage that defense reduces is, like, equal to... It is subtracted from the attack of the unit, the damage. Man, that is very difficult for me to say, apparently. But yes, it is subtracted from the physical damage a unit would do with its attack. Very nice. And so yeah, I think, like I was saying, we'll want Just Orchid fly. here. Um, actually, given how our units are laid out, I think we'll want to place Telopsis here. And our left side, or our right side, might be a little bit, uh... I might be focusing a little bit too much on it, to be honest, but... Gabriel here would be good. And yeah, soon we will place soon we will place Midnight and Chen, I think. That should be Oh no, actually we can only well no, of course we can only place one of them because we haven't retreated Fang yet. Um Chen. Hmm. I'm not quite as confident in Chen as I maybe could have right now, or maybe could be right now. Um, okay. Midnight. The stuns are going to be quite useful. Come on, get it oh. together. If I could, please, Take thank you. But yes, I think, I think I forgot to... Uh, I, the, yeah, one thing that I mentioned last time, I wasn't quite sure if... Uh, very good. But yes, I wasn't quite sure if... Ooh, that's kind of bad. But, uh... Initiation given mode enabled. Pardon. I wasn't quite sure if Doberman's uh, talent applied to all three stars all across the map. Because the only other unit that I... Oh, hold on. Oh, Midnight's outside of healing range. That's bad. Um... If you want treatment, you gotta come well... Hmm... We will improvise. I don't want Orchid Understood. out of here. Um, Got it. here I am. Okay. Less than ideal, but 
we'll need someone. Yeah, I should have placed... I don't know why I didn't place Gaviel up a little bit. I guess I still wanted to be able to heal Fang. And of course, now that I've removed Shaw, we don't like have you quite as much Doberman's. Doberman's not doing too bad, I guess. Okay, I was very worried that that, uh, that drone wasn't going to uh, be defeated, but we're good. Should have more faith in Amiya. But yes. Very good, very good. Yeah, I guess I still... I was thinking that Fang would be there for longer than she was. Um, the rest of this should be fine. I think we've got it. All right. Yeah, we should be good. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. But yeah. Anyway, so as I was saying, Doberman's talent is in fact global. Orders. I had thought that it maybe wasn't, because the only other operator that I was aware of that had a similar talent had a specific range to it. Mission accomplished. But, yeah. Doberman's talent is in fact global in range. <clears throat> Look. Mm -hmm. This is the trigger. Just load the ammo like this, aim at the enemy, and pull the trigger. This will launch the bullet. Then concentrate and grip the handle. Concentrate and channel your arts. This will cause the bullet to detonate. I don't know if I can. I know you can do this. We have a lot in common. I can feel it within you. Just picture it in your mind. Here, hold on to this Originium Shard. Mm. Concentrate. My palm feels hot. That's right. I knew it. I knew it. Yes, Misha, you really are. <laughs> oh, you really are my... We have to go. Skull Shatterer, hurry! We can't hold this base anymore. What happened? Rhodes Island is attacking. We're being rushed. Huh. Those rats. Don't panic. Regroup and prepare our counterattack. Skull Shatterer. I'm sure Rhodes Island will... Well, what? You want me to have a chat with Rhodes Island? They are surely trying to help the infected. Or they... They're surely trying to help the infected. I killed so many of my comrades. You're really asking me to talk to them? All my comrades. They were infected too. Rhodes Island, those self-proclaimed saviors of the infected. What do they do to help my comrades? What do they say to you to blind you? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting too emotional. But one thing is certain. Reunion has finally provided a sliver of hope to the infected after all this time. But Rhodes Island, despite being infected, chose to hurt us. To slaughter us. What are they but traitors? What is there to discuss with traitors? Are the infected doomed to always kill each other, then? Then what am I supposed to do? Should I just stand by and watch my comrades die? Don't worry. We'll protect you. You'll also have to protect yourself, though. Don't get pulled into the fighting. Please, be careful. I promise you'll come back. Just when I finally found you again. Yeah, I'll come back for you. Then, we'll go home together. Mm-hmm. Hey there. So, you need my help after all? That's right. Actually... The situation is a bit different from what Tallulah told us. The enemy is more powerful than we expected. That's why you have to protect Misha. I don't think I'm obligated to do that. You are. Fine, fine. However, it's not enough just to protect Misha, is it? If you fail, they'll still catch up to us. What do you have in mind? Skull Shatterer, don't you remember what I told you before? I do. We can turn the tables if we take out the target. Dr. Tiber. See? You were paying attention. All we have to do is take out their commander. Easy, right? The hooded person who's always next to that bunny girl. The person who leads Rhodes Island combat, op combat operations. If you can kill that one, 
bang. Just like that, their brain will be gone. Everything will be so easy after that. We don't have many troops left, and we're running out of options. There's a location near the front of the mines that will be great for setting up our ambush. My casters will provide cover for you. You know what to do, don't you? I'll use my troops to draw them here. Don't miss this opportunity. I understand. Take care of Misha for me. Sure thing. Hmm. Anyway, good luck. Come back when you're less mediocre. All right. Yes, indeed. Didn't quite get, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> two, two stages is definitely not quite as far as I would have liked to have get. But, again, this was a bit of a short stream. So, I think we're going to leave it at that. Yes. That being said, it has been a good one. Um, ba 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 ba. Right, back to the room. Here we are. Yes, so, let's see. What else is there to go over? Not much, I suppose. Once again, I don't know 100% what the collab schedule is going to be uh, next week and so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah. Next week, we should expect some more Arknights at around the same time. 3 o'clock. Should be... Ideally, we should be starting closer to 3 instead of uh, 3.30, but, you know, it is what it is. It will be when it will be. And... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, so, let's see, that should be everything with regards to business, everything that's relevant. Once again, you can expect to see some more slight changes to some of my settings. I don't know how much of it will be visible. Hopefully, almost none of it will be visible, and everything will just be smooth and uh, as it should be. Just a little bit better. <coughs> but yeah, so, that should be everything then. So, if anyone would like to make a raid suggestion, please feel free to do so. If not, I can find a target myself. I'll give you all a few moments. That's it. Looks like we don't have a raid suggestion, so I think we will go and today we will go and raid Altariana. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, it looks like uh, Alt is decorating a Christmas tree. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. Yes, raid Altariana. So yes. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. So, thank you all for being here today. I hope that you have had a fine day. I hope that you will continue to have a fine day every day. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.